caffeine, the one thing keeping me alive right now. Howdy, howdy ho. Do you know what this is? This is your one and only weapon against corporations. That's because it's the one and only thing they care about. So let's first talk about blind loyalty in real world terms. You ever meet a broken hearted man or woman who gave all their love blindly to someone, let everything slide, forgave everything, came up with excuses on their behalf? Sure, if you find the right person, then you're safe. But that's the gamble. Blind loyalty sets you up to be taken advantage of. Now let's look at a company. At the top of a company is a group of people who have meetings trying to figure out ways to take your money. They literally spend hundreds, if not thousands, of hours trying to find ways to tickle your fancy so they can slip their fingers into your wallet. You work your ass off at your job to earn moolah. So I cannot fathom why anyone, anyone would be blindly loyal to a company whose sole purpose is to take the very thing you worked so hard to earn. Companies need to earn your money the same way you do. Hard work. And when you've already been given a company your money, buying their software, buying their hardware, you expect to be treated a certain way for your loyalty, do you not? And when a company pays you, well, I hope, they expect you to do a good job, be punctual, and show care and effort in your work, do they not? So why, why, why is there such a loss of financial objectivity in gaming? Why, why? Why do so many gamers, and those of you who've been around a while know exactly why I put that in quotes, have such blind loyalty to companies making piles of plastic? Remember, gaming is a commodity, not a necessity. Why do so many gamers try so hard to come up with excuses on behalf of a company's sloth and greed? It's the company's job to explain to you why they should be taking more of your hard-earned moolah. You do not create explanations for them. They need to explain to you why you should give them your money the same way you explain with the resume why a company should give you money for your work. And that's kind of what it is. Company marketing is a lot like a resume. Does it appeal to you? Does it competently demonstrate why you should go with this software or this hardware or this ecosystem? And when the marketing is a lot of fluff words, You do your research and look into it the same way companies look into you outside your resume. You're right, no one works for free, but these companies aren't charities. You should not simply hand over money to prove your loyalty and support. When they start slacking, when they aren't working hard enough, you do not make excuses for them. When they start taking advantage, when they start getting greedy, when they start smelling your blind loyalty, You put your foot down and remind them who actually pays their bills. You'll notice I spoke in general here. Clearly blind loyalty pervades just about every fan base in some form or another. So let's close with a real world example. I bought multiple piggyback tunes and an actual core ECU tune for my car, all from the same company. And you know what I asked each time? I asked if there was a discount for me already being a customer. And you know what they did? Every time I upgraded, they gave me a discount. Sure, I had to ask for it, but that's called rewarding customer loyalty. I hope this gives you some perspective to come to your own conclusions about how and where your favorite gaming companies might be taking advantage of you. I can't tell you how to spend your money, but I can tell you to be smarter about it. Companies only make greedy moves when they're already winning. It's up to you to put them in their place. And this, This is why competition is so healthy. It gives you options on where to spend your money and leaves the companies working hard to earn it. Leave throwing money at your screen a hype joke and not a reality. I'll see you next time on The Gaming Five.